You are listening to The Centropic Oracle, an audiobook podcast of science fiction and fantasy short stories that make you think and feel. Last Breath by Robert Anthony Smith I'll be the last human to die. Allow me to clarify. I'll be the last human to die of old age. I'd assume, after all I've seen, the last human to die, period, will be killed by another human. Bit of a chicken before the egg problem there, huh? Well, I never claim to be a philosopher. At midnight tonight, December 12th, 2049, after half a decade of political gridlock, laws legalizing genetic engineering to extend lifespans become effective worldwide. Before that, time treatment remains illegal and doctors who administer it risk having their licenses revoked. Doc put my vitals into one of those quantum computers and it spit out my time of death. 11.55. Five minutes before immortality is legalized. The quantum computers also archive these predictions and Doc assures me that no one scheduled between 11.55 and midnight. For five minutes, the old geezers will pull themselves together and I'll finally do something important. The media picked up the story and they've come to talk to me. Most of the time I'm too tired to answer their questions, but they got me thinking. As I've watched the genetic engineering revolution, I suppose I've always known it had come to this. Someone had to be the last. <laughs> Never thought it'd be me. In truth, I reckoned I'd die long before this happened, but here we are. I'd like to say all my friends and family are dead and I've got nothing to lose, but that wouldn't be the truth of it. I've got friends, Larry and Bumpy down at the VFW. We sit and drink $5 beers, complaining about how they used to cost $2. I'll miss those boys. They'll pour one out for me, I'd imagine. They'll be doing it forever, though, if claims are true. I wonder when they'll stop. A year from now? Two? A holy man joins us sometimes, Gabriel. That's not his real name, mind you. He just likes the story behind it. He tells me to hang on. God allowed man to create the kingdom of heaven on earth. No disease. Eternal life. You can make it, he says. Strange. All the suffering through the world's history has been part of God's plan, and now that humans eliminate most of it, the pious claim that's God's work as well. Maybe they're right. I think Gabriel's naive. Humans can still kill one another, even if old age can't. Only difference is, the soldiers won't grow too old to fight. I have a daughter, Anna, and a baby grandson, Aiden. They visit me some Saturdays when Anna's not too busy. She's busy a lot. In truth, the little guy makes me nervous. He's one of the new ones. Designer baby, they call him. Anna says he'll be six foot three inches. He's got blue eyes and blonde hair, while Anna and I are dark. They changed so much I question if he's even my grandson. My blood don't run through his veins. They say he'll be extremely intelligent, but I can't be proud if he is. It's not my genes made him smart. I have a loving wife, Dorothy, who swears she'll never remarry, despite the geneticists' claim that after eternal life they'll restore eternal youth. That one stings most, knowing she'll live on, return to beauty, to perhaps love another. She was gorgeous back when we fell so hard for one another the earth stood still. Men of all ages will pursue my Dorothy. I choked down tears for her. After a lifetime of putting up with me, she'll have to learn some other man's peculiarities. Damn shame. I suppose folk will struggle to get by without someone after living with them for hundreds of years. At least I don't have to live without Dorothy or watch her die. Everything is changing. I'm glad I won't have to deal with this mess they're making. It's almost my time, 11.55, and I've come to terms with it. Maybe I'll last the five minutes and get the treatment, despite Doc's claims. I wonder what I'd say if he walked in and said, It's a miracle! You're going to make it to midnight! Would I take the treatment? Is the fear of death stronger than my fear of the future? Many folks are staring down that decision, my Dorothy included. 
They know they'll make it to legalization and have to decide to get treatment. Dorothy'll do it. She loves Anna and Aiden too much to pass it up. But me? I know what I'd tell him were it up to me. I won't make it till midnight. I'll be the last to die. We hope you enjoyed Last Breath by Robert Anthony Smith, read by Rob Gillespie. If you'd like to learn more about the author and narrator of this story or make a donation to them, follow the story page link in the description. Pledge your support to us on Patreon for cool rewards and to help us bring you more stories. If you would like to submit a story for consideration or apply to be a narrator, a link to our submission guidelines is in the description.